Whoa, that's not right. Let's fix this. Ha, there, that's better. If you've been getting soft or blurry images, I have four steps you can take to immediately guarantee a sharp image every time. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna have to make a couple of assumptions here before we get to the four steps. One is that your camera is working mechanically properly, that there are no mechanical issues causing a lack of focus. That is beyond the scope of this video. So just a couple of quick points here. What you're trying to do, what focus is, is in your camera, an image is going to be formed on the film or sensor below this mirror using this guy, a lens, very basic. <laughs> so in order for focus to happen, to be proper, sharp, good focus, the lens has to be properly aligned to the camera body. It has to be the proper distance from the sensor. Those kinds of adjustments are mechanical and in some cases software based today. So there are some things like back focus adjustment, things like that, that if you're getting consistently bad focus, that may be part of the problem. Again, not part of this video, just want to level set there. We're assuming that your camera is properly adjusted. Okay, here we go, here's the four steps. The first step sounds very simple, but we have to assume that the lens is actually focused. That's not so simple necessarily these days with autofocus cameras. You've got to make sure that using autofocus, your focus point or where the camera's choosing to focus <laughs> that you're telling it to is where you intend it to be, right? That the subject you intend to be in focus is actually what the camera is trying to focus on. If you're doing it manually, old school, I do it too, you've got to really look and be able to tell if the camera is in focus, right? So the camera has to know if it's working auto, working its autofocus points, and you have to be able to see if you're doing it manually that what you're trying to focus on actually is in focus. Step two, the camera has to be stable. You've got a couple of ways to go. Some people love tripods, some people hate them. I love them, but there are times I don't use it. If you are hand-holding your camera, you have to do it in a way that's very stable. Slight movements, even with image stabilization, will matter. So you have to hold your camera in such a way to brace it against your body. If you're using a tripod, make sure it's sturdy. Make sure that you don't actually tap the camera because they shake. <laughs> uh, if you've ever looked through a telescope and you touch it, yeah, your camera sees that too. So don't rely on image stabilization. Assume you don't have it, hold it stable, hold it really stable and you will never be disappointed. Step three, the shutter speed has to be fast enough to prevent blur. Blur is another form of soft focus, right? It looks a little different, but it has the same effect. If your subject is moving, if your camera is moving, there is really no way you're gonna get a really sharp image. So you have to have a, a fast enough shutter speed to ensure that you have no blur. There was an old rule of thumb years ago that the shutter speed needs to be faster than the focal length. So for instance, let's say I'm using a 50 millimeter lens. My shutter speed should be no slower than 1 50th of a second. I find that to be a little conservative sometimes. And if you know that the subject is moving, you really have to uh, uh, increase the shutter speed. For very fast moving subjects, uh, do all the shutter speed you can. Step four is aperture. The aperture has to be small enough to make sure that everything you want in focus, like for instance, my face, from the tip of my nose to the back of my ears or whatever, you can see with the depth of field. So if you've got a very fast lens, those nice expensive lenses that make those wonderful blurry backgrounds, they'll also make sure that part of my face is not in focus if it's a long enough focal length. So opening a lens up all the way to 1.2 or whatever will guarantee that the tip of my nose will be in focus and my ears may not be. Most people say focus for the eyes. I agree, but at a very shallow depth of field, a very wide open aperture, 
you may have focus problems. If you consistently find that you're missing focus on shallow apertures, stop down a little bit, maybe F4. Maybe sacrilege, maybe you love that soft focus depth of field, um, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, four steps. But assuming your camera doesn't have any problems, they have to work. It's physics, right? If the lens is properly focused where it's supposed to be, if the shutter speed is fast enough, if the camera is steady, you've got to get sharp images. It just has to be. If you find that you're still not getting them, trace back. Did the camera move? Did the subject move? Did you actually miss focus? Was the focus point where it needed to be? Hey guys, I hope this helped. I hope you are getting something out of my videos. If you are, please hit like, maybe subscribe. Until the next video, cheers.